Giveaway guys, giveaway alert. I am so excited. This episode is super juicy, super, super juicy. We'll be rewarding our faithful viewers of this program. So make sure you stick to us. Make sure you watch till the end because there's a card that will be popping up just for a few seconds for you to identify the person that is on the card and drop the person's name in the comment section and win some cool cash. Courtesy from 237 Showbiz. Welcome on board. This is Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Meg. And without wasting any second out of the beautiful minutes we're going to be spending here, let's get it popping with the first segment of this program coming up right away, guys. Go nowhere. I'll be right back. More on Biggie 237 this week. Unlike last week, the drama in the house was less intense. We saw no one threatening to leave and Fish did not spank anybody's ass. Last weekend, we had evictions and out of the 22 contestants, three flatmates were evicted. How did they feel about their eviction? Guys, check this out. <laughs> This is how the public voted. We had Fish topping the chart, followed by Noni White and Patience at the third position. I was very surprised with Patience's position, seeing the way people dragged her after her clash with Fish, where she caught him a goat. I thought she would be evicted, but looks like she has a strong fan base. She's been made house captain this week, and so far we've had no drama from her. 13 flatmates are up for possible eviction this week. Fish and Noni White are there too. So who are you saving? And so far, tell me guys, who's your favorite flatmate in that house? As for me, my favorite flatmate is, um... Anyway, I like anyone who hits the house up with drama. Besides, that's what we signed for. Don't only show support with your mouth. Make sure you vote for your favorite flatmates if you want to see them in that house. If Fish is your favorite flatmate, vote for him. If it's Noni White, vote for him. If it's Sintian, Queen Mother, Azi, whoever, please make sure you vote so that they won't be evicted this way. The world nearly came to an end this week. That was Monday as Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram shut down for seven good hours. Come see panic everywhere as users could not connect with their families and friends worldwide. When it started, many people thought it was a network issue. We all know how crazy network is in Cameroon. We had people turning their phones, their Wi-Fi buses, on and off just to make sure they were not at fault. So maybe had to call their friends to see if they were not the only ones affected. It was crazy. And after the seven long hours of panic, Max Zuckerberg finally break the silence saying, and I quote, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger are coming back online now. Sorry for the disruption today. I know how much you rely on our services to stay connected with the people you care about. Oops. That was a life-saving message as many people came back to life. Do you know that people almost died because of that? Yes. And what a minute. Does it mean we cannot live without social media? I think it's time we start investing more outside social media. If it happens once, it can still happen. What if it happens the second, third time and becomes permanent? Are we all going to die? Certainly not. So it's time we start searching our happiness elsewhere. Prioritize sending out SMS and calling your loved ones because social media can fail us at any time. If it happens, what will you do? Wahala for person we no need down before propose. You see this gender? They will never, I mean never, stop disgracing us. And my question for you guys is where is the best place to propose to a lady? Is it privately? publicly or should we all just go back to the days where a man will move directly to the lady's parents with his family to ask for a hand in marriage and what is the best way for a woman to react to a public proposal with which she's not comfortable guys check this out <laughs> Oh my god, 
But what an embarrassment. I really don't wish this, not even to my worst enemy. Imagine it's your son, it's your brother, they're embarrassing like this. Now, wow. Before you propose to a lady, please make sure you know her real feelings towards you and make sure you know her stand about marriage. Not go disgrace yourself. This thing is not for everybody, especially not for us Africans. Welcome on African showbiz scene guys, Nigerian artists Whiskey and Thames both won a platinum plaque in the US for their hit song Essence which is almost clocking 35 million views on YouTube. They are the first African based artists to have the platinum song. Check this out guys. I appreciate you. I love you, baby girl. You're a superstar. Like, this is your time. This is your moment. Like, the world needs to hear this shit. It's special to me. Like, I love you. Thank 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 you. Thank
Mark Zuckerberg showed the world how important he is, especially to this new generation of social media lovers. Okay guys, if you have found the name of the person on the card, please make sure you drop it in the comment section. We will be choosing the winner randomly. And this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of Hot Things. You see with me, Miss Mbe. Thank you so very much guys for watching. Please make sure you let me know in the comment section what you think about everything I just said here. And for more information on the Cameroon entertainment industry, follow us. We are on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. and very much active on our website too. Make sure you're part of us on Telegram and follow our new division 237 Showbiz Studios. I'll be right back next week with so much more guys. Do have a great week.